August 11, 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourselves that do not wear out an inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will jurd himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward from the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant who whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at a known hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will, but did not make preparations, nor act in accord with his will, shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignored of his master's will, but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still, more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord Faithful and Prudent Stewards Slavery was prevalent in an ancient times. At the height of its power, Rome had more slaves than free men. The condition became so unbearable that the slaves, led by Spartacus, revolted and almost toppled the Roman Republic. In Israel, in Jesus' time, the elite have servant slaves who are employed in agriculture, more often in domestic service. A slave who shows competence and faithfulness may be assigned as the head servant or slave overseer. Usually, he is a man hardened by farm work and tested by experience. If he has a retentive mind and can manage affairs, he may be chosen for the task, even if he may be illiterate. In the Gospel parable, the faithful and prudent Economos has been put in charge of his master's household. This is an image of true discipleship, a disciple most especially if he is a leader of a community of believers, must be prudent and dependable in fulfilling his obligation towards believers. He must exercise his duties at the proper time and not at his own convenience. Authority is conferred only for a time and is meant for the good of others. Otherwise, its abuse will lead to a loss of sense of others. 
which is tyranny and loss of sense of self, expressing excess and bad company. Luke here points out a practical concern. The disciple must not bother with the exact timing of the final coming of Christ. Rather, he should concentrate on living the life of a faithful and prudent servant. On this, he will be judged. Religious leaders will always be servants of the Lord, and it is only by remaining humble and vigilant that they will prove themselves faithful and prudent stewards of the things of God.